All right, welcome back to BuffaloPlus.com and the Buffalo Plus YouTube channel. I'm now joined by Gregory Rousseau's high school football coach down in Miami, Hector Clavijo. Hector, he's traveling. He's at the airport now, but taking some time to talk with us. I really appreciate it. So when you met him, right, he was a wide receiver when he started in high school, he said, correct? Some, yeah, before he came to us, he was like a wide receiver. Yeah. And when did you get that sense like, hey, this guy could be pretty dominant on the defensive line? So – he never really played like he played very very few snaps at defensive line for me um he played safety for me most of the, most of his time well yeah i would say 90 percent of his time at at school he was at uh at free safety for us um then he would play some wide receiver in like goal line situations and then his senior year once he committed to miami um we did a little bit of uh of putting him at defensive end um, just to kind of get, you know, let him get the feel of the game and see how he does and all that stuff at the position. But for our team purposes, he fit what we wanted him to do at free safety. Um, it was just part of my philosophy on defense. Um, and that's, you know, that's kind of what we went with. So he seems like he's still scratching the surface, you know, kind of as a defensive end. Is that what you're kind of saying? You know, he's, he just got that raw talent right now. Oh, yeah. I mean, Anyone that, that was able to evaluate Greg knows he's a, he's a, you know, him having 12 sacks last year is just a scratch of the surface of what he can be, you know. Um, once he gets going in the NFL, I mean, I'm not going to sit here and say year one, he's going to be, you know, Dwight Freeney. Uh, but, uh, but, you know, in, in the next two to three seasons, for sure, I mean, you're talking about an elite pass rusher. Um, that that's going to impact the game in so many ways, whether it be batted down passes, whether it be sacks, whether it be um, you know being able to play though that 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 zone read, you know, um, with the mobile quarterbacks, um, his length you know enables him to cover so much ground outside, um, and he could do so much. You know, he could cover he could cover in space, um, he could do a ton of things. You know what I mean? He's he's that guy that that. Um, not only could he pin his ears back and go out to the quarterback, but he could also, you know, drop a coverage or, you know, do all kinds of stuff. So it's going to be, uh, you know, he could, he could easily be a Hall of Famer, Pro Bowl type guy right away. I always like to ask sometimes the younger coaches or, you know, coaches that knew the players early, like those formative years, those high school years are so, you know, impactful on, on, on you know, players' lives. Best Greg Rousseau story. Do you got one that, that sticks out that, that you – either makes you laugh or makes you smile or, or made you go, wow. The funniest Greg Rousseau story to me is, um, I'll never forget, we were at a, we were in Kentucky. We were in Louisville, Kentucky. We were playing against Rondell Moore's team. Um, and they were ranked, you know, nationally, and we went up there to play them. So Rondell Moore, um, every time he would, like, catch the ball, he uh, he would run as fast. I mean, the guys that to me that's the best player I've ever seen playing was Rondell Moore, um, the receiver from Purdue, um, and uh, he would just always run and then run out of bounds. And I kept wondering like, why does this guy keep going out of bounds? And then I realized that it was Greg that kept chasing him out of bounds, right? So the guy kept running out of bounds. So then finally, like Greg like lays a hit on him like in the middle of the field, boom, just knocks him out cold, like big hit. And, like, instead of getting up and, like, celebrating, and we were, like, so happy, like, we finally knocked this guy down. Like, he's impossible to stop. Um, instead of getting up and, like, celebrating or, like, taunting or, like, any any type of, like, machismo, right? Um, instead, Greg helped him up and, like, patted him on the helmet, and then the guy went back to his huddle. And then we were so upset at him. We were like, Greg, don't ever help anybody else up off the ground, you know? Like, um, so... We always talk about, you know, we're telling Greg this, you got to be a little meaner, you know, but he was that guy. Like, he's a million miles an hour on the, like, between the whistles. But then, you know, when that whistle blows, he goes back to being himself. And he has that switch. He has that kill switch. Like, literally, he'll go, uh, literally kill the quarterback. But at the same time, like, you know, he'll babysit, he'll babysit his kids at the same time. Like, he's that kind of guy. <laughs> um, so... He, he, that's what makes him special, you know. He, yeah, he's able to have that switch on and off the field. Um, so he's going to be that role model for, for everyone um, off the field. And then he'll also be that dynamic player on the field. 
That's an awesome story. Just, just he's too nice. Yeah, you know, he's he's got this switch. He's but but just a little bit too nice on the field. Just a little bit meaner. Yeah, and, I, and another another funny story is like in practice one day, I think I was all I was just really upset. Like I thought we were just being soft, um, and so I created this like hitting drill, right? Like. Um, pretty violent drill, you know, like open field tackle, but like one guy's like 20 yards away, the other guy's like another 20 yards away, and they gotta like come around this corner and just have to make a play, right? So we were we were doing it with everybody, linemen included, and that we had an offensive lineman that was highly recruited, um, mm-hmm. and he was probably about six five, three hundred and twenty pounds, and he comes comes around this corner, and Greg is the tackler, and. I thought the guy was going to try to make a move or like do something to avoid Greg, or, you know, and said the guy just runs right at him. And Greg has got like a 20 yard head start, right? He absolutely levels this guy. I'm talking about, I. it's watching a six foot five man. Okay. Go from standing straight up to flat on the floor. I've never, I've never seen anything like it in my life. Um, and then, it was, it was the biggest hit I've ever seen. Like, and it coming from Greg was even more like, Oh shoot. Like he did it, <laughs> you know? And then, and then, so after that, I no longer put Greg in drills like that because I thought he was going to kill someone. Um, just him being so, so powerful, you know, he's just always been a naturally powerful human being. So, you know, when he graduated early from us and got to the university of Miami, you know, he was able to put on, you know, 20, 30 pounds, like immediately, you know, he graduated, from high school weighing like 220 pounds, you know? Oh, wow. By, by the spring game, when I came to watch spring, um, he was like 255 already. So, um, he, he, but he, but that just shows his work ethic, his demeanor, you know, he's going to do everything you say. He's yes, sir. No, sir. You know, a uh, hundred, like if you, if you, and people called, you know, teams called me and asked, you know, character references for him. And, I would bet my last daughter that there isn't a better character person in the NFL than Gregory Rousseau, you know, and I, I put every, every daughter I have on, on that bet because he just is, you know? Um, so the bills got a good one. I'm a dolphin fan, so it hurts. Um, but, uh, Hey, at least I get to see him play twice a year, you know, and at least once here. And uh, it'll give me a reason to go to Buffalo now, just obviously not after like October. And, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm very happy for him, as you can see my smile, and uh, and um, it's it's going to be an awesome time. I'm, I'm super excited. He seems like a good fit. You know, it seems like he fits that process mentality. Uh, just hearing him talk, and then obviously to hear a story about, you know, you hear other reasons why players opted out, but you know, for for Greg to do it to you know to help take care of his family and, and everything like that's you know really does fit the process. So. Hector, I really appreciate the stories. Those are awesome. Um, best of luck traveling. Stay safe, and uh, we'll we'll catch we'll keep in touch. Awesome. Thank you.